We're continuing our look at the fall sports teams and their seasons coming up inside the OBU film room inside the Noble Complex. And we're joined today by women's soccer head coach, Mike White. Coach, pleasure to be with you and uh, pleasure to be uh, able to watch your team the last few weeks in Colorado and back here in, in Shawnee. And how excited are you? This is your 13th season and uh, uh, just detail your excitement level for this coming 2022 season. Uh, thank you, Clayton. It's a pleasure to be here. I appreciate y'all doing this and getting our name out there. And uh, 13th year as a head coach and uh, looking forward to it as much as uh, any season, really. Uh, we do have some good talent coming in. Um, uh, and once we get them all fit and healthy, uh, then I think we'll take some teams by surprise. Uh, the last three scrimmages that we've had um, have been uh, better than I expected, to be honest. So I'm um, Looking forward to it. Uh, one thing, obviously, we lost a whole big class of seniors, your daughter included, Hannah, Keeley, Abby, Tori, among others. Um, and the conference notice, we got picked third. Uh, I mean, we've been in the top two for five straight years. Yeah. Uh, thoughts, uh, you know, with that big of a class being lost to graduation and, and working through that this year? No, I understand, I understand that and uh, people, uh, took that into account, and uh, that's a, a testament to the girls that we lost uh, because, uh, for five, like you say, for five straight years, we were one or two. And so I understand, and being third is perfectly fine with me. Uh, I'd almost rather be picked preseason third and, and show them what we have uh, than to be picked first and, and everybody's, you know, after you. So uh, maybe we'll take some teams by surprise. Who knows? Let's talk about the team a bit. Let's start with the defense of back front. Um, obviously, Madison Williams is one of the best defenders I've seen in my 13-year career doing this. Mm -hmm. Aisley Baker's really good. Mm -hmm. But now we're going to be plugging in Holland Reese, injured a bit last yeah. year. She scored a goal yesterday against Seminole State. Uh, but that three, and you know, we got a good competition with Mia in Ireland. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think we're going to miss a beat? I have this hunch we're not going to miss much of a beat back there. We definitely lost uh, a couple big hitters. Uh, I know Kimmy McKinney um, losing her in the defense was a big hit for us. But uh, Holland is a junior and played a lot her freshman year, dealt with some injuries last year. She's going to do fine. She's doing fine. Like I say, she scored a goal. Um, and then Aisley is just a sophomore, but plays like a senior. Yeah. And then, of course, with Madison uh, sweeping up and saving us time and time again, I don't think we'll miss a beat. From what I've seen over the last few weeks, is our midfield the best part of this team collectively? Uh, that looks like a really strong unit uh, for this squad this season. Yes, uh, we've seen uh, some good things from them in the um, preseason scrimmages. And, but what we, what we haven't seen is a couple freshmen that are on the bench that we're still trying to get healthy that will even make that uh, midfield even stronger. And so I'm excited about our midfield. I think we'll do well. Coach, the one thing um, you noticed, five of the top six goal scorers are gone from a year ago. Mm -hmm. And I think, I know I've mentioned this to you and Jen and Jeremy, we got to find a way to manufacture goals. Mm -hmm. how, do you, how do we accomplish that with, with such the loss on that end from a year ago? The funny thing is, and that's one of the surprise about the scrimmages this year is that uh, I felt like our shot quality has improved. Okay. I felt like our uh, arsenal of how we score has improved. Uh, and so I've been pleasantly surprised uh, with the shots we've been taking and the goals we've been scoring. Of course, the competitions, there's no easy competition once the uh, season starts, especially with our preseason schedule. Uh, so uh, that may yet to be seen as far as how much improved, if any, we've uh, improved our scoring. But according to the preseason games, I feel like uh, we're doing fine. Yeah. Uh, of course, we missed those girls, uh, but they scored in a different way. And we're finding uh, a little more creative ways to score. And so it's been good. You mentioned a, a lot of new freshmen on this roster. You see Chrissy Fulton, Annabelle Joski, Jaden Basler, uh, and numerous others. Yeah. How are they uh, coming along these last few weeks, you know, blending with the, the, the returnees? And how do you see them uh, playing a role in this year's team? Well, they've come in as typically the freshmen do. They come in and, and for the most part, they've come in fit and they've come in ready to play and ready to prove themselves. 
uh, and it's been a it's been a good transition. They've bonded, seem to have bonded well with one another and with the upperclassmen. One of the goals of our upperclassmen and our captains is to make sure that those girls come in uh, and feel like a part of the team right away. I mean, the captains are going to have individual coffees with them and, and make sure that that bonding part is there. That's a big part of who we are. That's why we take our preseason trips, and that's why we uh, spend a lot of time uh, making sure that the girls spend time together. Coach, my final thought for you. We, this team and this program has played tough early season competition for as long as we can remember. And we're starting again in a couple of days at Washburn, and then we'll play the Central Missouri team. We've, we've been in their neck of the woods in the last year uh, for the NCAA tournament. But uh, another straw, and we're going to see West Texas A&M uh, you know, early on in the season. How beneficial is that, though, to get tough competition out of the way early before we get to conference play? Well, it's, it's beneficial in the fact that you see your faults and you see your mistakes. You see what you need to work on going into conference. Uh, I was telling the girls earlier at practice that uh, five of the six, at least, and maybe all six, will be contending for a, a spot in the national rankings at some point this season, if things go as they traditionally have. Mm -hmm. um, and all six will be tough competition. So it shows us what we need to work on, what we, what we need to refine. Uh, the, uh, the challenge is to stay healthy and to not get discouraged if things don't go yeah. like you want them to go. But like I say, this team uh, is a team of fighters and may surprise some people. Coach, I want to thank you for your time. Well, we're excited to see how the season goes and we'll catch up with you later. Thank you, Clayton. That was a Bison women's soccer coach, Mike White. His team opening play this Thursday night at Washburn. The Ichabods are hosting the Bison for the first game of the season for our green and gold team. He's Mike White. I'm Clayton Kaufman on the Bison Sports Network. We'll see you next time, folks.